So our favorite brewers challenge each other every month to make the same style of beer with their own spin on it. And find out what they made during this month's Crosstown Brewdown Challenge. Okay, so we're talking about the Crosstown Brew Down, and I'm here with Ted at Buffalo Commons Brewing. Ted, what was the challenge today? Or this month, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, this time around, it was a fruited cream ale. So a, a cream ale is, my understanding, it was developed by ale brewers in the United States to compete with German-inspired lager brewers. So it was designed to be a very light and crisp beer. And our challenge was to pick out a fruit to go with it. So I went with mangoes and habanero. Oh my gosh. Now this one excites me because I'm Mexican, so anything spicy, just give it to me, you know? Um, what would you say to someone who's never had something like this? Well, I think I nailed the spice level on it. Um, I know a lot of people are put off by really spicy things. But this just had a little hint of spice, and it doesn't cling to your lips or your tongue, but you definitely know it's there. So it, I don't want anybody to be scared off by habaneros. All right, let's go check out what the other breweries are doing. Hi, right, we're at Stonehome Brewing Company. I'm joined by Ivan, their head brewer. So Ivan, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being here. So we have the fruited cream ale on tap for the Crosstown Brewdown. And I've talked to the, some of the other guys, and I know what they're doing, but I haven't talked to you about this. What do you got coming down? Um, we're just taking our Capitol Hill cream ale uh -huh. that we have on tap regularly, and we're going to give it a, some strawberry rhubarb puree to give it a little fruity taste. So when someone tastes it, though, what should, would they kind of? You know, what is someone going to expect? Um, predominantly, the strawberry is just a little bit stronger than the rhubarb, so okay. a su sweet followed up by a little tartness from the rhubarb. But the cream ale isn't necessarily creamy, though, right? No, it's just a, it's an ale that is super light drinking. Okay. But just different yeast than the lager. That's what makes it different is the different yeast in it. So. Okay. It's just an easy drinking beer with a little flavor added to it. Nice. I love it, man. Well, Ivan, thank you so much. Uh, look forward to having some strawberry rhubarb cream ale. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, well, I'm here with Woody at Gideon's Brewing Company. And Woody, you're going to let us know what the uh, challenge was for this month in the Crosstown Brewdown. What was it? Yeah, so um, Jordan challenged us from Bismarck Brewing to do a fruited cream ale. Being that this is January, though, we decided to kick ours up a notch and just break all the rules when it comes to a cream ale. Uh -huh. We loaded it down with oats. Then uh, we put in some cherries, some tart cherries, and then we sweetened up those tart cherries with some white chocolate. You know, what other... Uh, I guess details should people know about this beer? It's perfect for this time of year, like I was talking about earlier. Um, generally, when it's cold outside and the snow's coming down, I want something that has more of a full body. Um, but that's kind of that combination between the sweetness of the white chocolate, um, the rounding out effects of the oats, and then that tart cherry. So You said you broke the rules this time. So is it still considered <laughs> a cream ale, or is it just like your own concoction? <laughs> it's, it's more of a known concoction. So if you were to enter this in any kind of competition, they would laugh at you, because it's nowhere close to what a cream ale should be. So, But we had fun making it. Um, all right, well, let's check out what they're doing at the other breweries. OK, we're with Jordan at Bismarck Brewing. So. Jordan, it was your turn to choose the Crosstown Brewdown this time, right? Yep. So what, what did you choose for everybody? We chose a fruited cream ale. A fruited cream ale? Yes. Okay. So what's a cream ale and what's the fruit? So a cream ale is, uh, there's a big misconception with cream ales that, you know, it has lactose cream in it. People think oh, it's milky. So what makes the Crosstown Brewdown cream ale different than any others? Uh, just because we decided to fruit it, <laughs> which, I mean, is not really well, that different. what kind different, of fruit do you have in there? So we're doing a choke cherry jalapeno. Mm -hmm. So what kind of flavor profile do you expect this beer to have? You're going to get, you know, a decent tartness, a little bit of tannic bitterness from the choke cherry, but mm -hmm. then in the background you get a little bit of heat from the jalapeno, but it's not going to be overwhelming. It's kind of a nice balanced, sure. spicy, sweet combo. Choke cherry, jalapeno, kit, mitten, stop down, Bismarck Brewing. Check it out for yourself, the Crosstown Brewdown. And this has been the Crosstown Brewdown. All right, so I just want to note that a cream ale isn't creamy. No, it's the cream of the crop. It's a light beer. And, you know, I was telling you that our brewers really did decide to put their own spin. We have mm -hmm. Ted who put, how, it was habanero, mango, mango. Mango, habanero, yeah. Then we had a strawberry rhubarb. Mm -hmm. Then we had choke cherries. 
choked cherry jalapeno. Yes. Oh, wow. That's yep. an interesting taste. It is. And then Woody did um, like white chocolate. I think he said raspberry. Yeah. So they, I mean, oats. they went all out with this beer. Right. So I'm yeah. excited to try it. Yeah. It all of pretty, them, actually. Pretty good stuff. Do a six pack on all of them. <laughs> 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 all right. Make sure you check out the Crosstown Brew Down beers at any of the participating breweries. And a portion of the proceeds go to the United Way Backpack Program.